up by the first clip, they were, the bass were feeding on the thread fin shad. And that stealth trap was almost a perfect match. I'm about to use a catchphrase that I absolutely freaking hate. Match the hatch, which is what I did. I just hate that fucking phrase. I don't know why. Match the hatch. It just gets on my freaking nerves. But anyway, you'll see that in the first clip. <laughs> you know, I snagged a thread fin shed with the stealth trap. And that's what they were eating. I did manage to catch a few more on my uh, hand painted top secret crankbait, which I'm never going to tell you what it is. Adios. Enjoy. Or don't. Look at this monster. <laughs> Hilarious. All day. Just these little ones. 10, 12 inches. Caught one about two and a half pounds. I didn't take video of it. This is number 12. Just a little bass. Let's see if we can't do better. That's a little bit better. 24. Still a little one. It's still fun as hell. The old beat up stealth trap again. Hardly anything left of it. Number 33. Decent one. Pound and a quarter, pound and a half maybe. Come on, sweetie. Cooperate. Open your mouth. Come on, I'll put you back. There you go. Killing the silent trap. Ended up at 35 today. No monsters, except for the one that was, well, it wasn't a monster. Two and a half pounder. And I just dumped the rod and reel and the stealth trap into the water. It's down there somewhere. I tried dredging it out with the deep diving crankbait. I can't get it. And I'm not going in this cold ass water for a swim. I'm a little pissed off about it, but at least it wasn't a $150 combo. Or worse. 35 fish though. That's pretty darn good. I can live with that. In La Cache. Peace.